Hello guys, and in today's YouTube video, we're going to be talking about week three of Trials of Osiris in season of... What is the season? Fuck, can't remember the name of it. Anyway, uh, pre-Witch Queen, I guess, is what we'll say. And to start, there was a lot of abilities this week. Tons of them, tons of abilities. I think this week was probably for a lot of people. One of their worst weeks. Like, just overall, for tons of reasons, you could argue, you know, zone control, the map's gigantic, you could argue abilities, like, I don't know. I think this week really showed off what the meta is, and kind of what the issue is with the meta. And I hope that Bungie got a real good look at like what's really strong right now and kind of what's viable. And kind of that like at the moment, I feel like you're forced to run a lot of things. Like I, I feel forced to use, you know, Renewal Grass. And if I'm not using Renewal Grass, I feel forced to use like, you know, Bubble Titan or I don't know, man. It's just in such a bad spot right now. And there's so many things in the sandbox that need to be balanced so bad. And I hope that we get a nerf or a tuning to those things. Either this Tuesday, like as I'm recording this, this is after the drunk 24 hour or the 22 hour stream I did. Uh, I'm hoping we get a nerf on Tuesday at reset, which is probably not going to happen. We're probably going to get a TWAB where they talk about it first is my guess. Um, but maybe not. I don't know. I, one can hope, but I think this week, the, the Renewal Grasp and the, the Overshield Titans and the Orly Splendors are definitely ramping up, and that's that's what's wrong with the game right now. Those are the, the big outliers, like the big outliers, and I, I think the more and more time we have with those, the more and more time it's going to be, or the harder it's going to be for Bungie to not acknowledge them and not nerf them. So for me, I'm just going to keep using Lord of Wolves in Trials till the you know it's nerfed and you know until then it's not coming off it's not coming off at all i did snipe some during my drunk stream uh, or during like the last couple hours of my 22 hour stream uh and i got a, you know i got some good snipes i was also kind of drunk though so i still am currently so i'm trying to keep on track and you know give you guys good commentary even though I'm very sleep deprived and very uh, intoxicated currently at this point in time. But I, I think overall this week, like the perception of it, I think a lot of people had negative opinions about it. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I don't know if people really liked week one. I think every week has had like negative. I mean, I guess you could say there's negative and positive things about every week, right? But I think this week more than any week, I've seen tons of people just going crazy on Twitter. Like tons of clips of like just ability spamming, like just popping bubbles on the zone and just all types of things, man. I know, I know Bungie's gotta see this stuff. Like they have to. So, and I just wonder what they are thinking when they see it. Like, are they thinking like, yeah, it's fine. There's no way they are. They're like probably constructively thinking about a way to balance the sandbox. But I, I, and when it comes down to it, like I really don't know how you'd balance Bubble Titan. I guess make it a tier four super, and I don't know, make it so you know your, your shield regen doesn't start till your shield disappears, maybe. And uh, I'm tr really trying to think here. I don't know. Uh, those are a couple of things. I know with the uh, Renewal Grass, they should make it so you don't get any damage resistance from the Dust Field and only from the stasis crystal and that's like just completely remove that part of the nade and make it so the grenade doesn't regen until the grenade's gone and i think that would honestly fix uh renewal grasp what else and lordly splendor i don't know how you would nerf that either because it, it just creates a sunspot when you put a shield down maybe maybe oh, oh one one thing as well that i'm forgetting is like with os titan maybe make it so like over shield shields take like an extra 10 maybe 15 seconds on top of the base cooldown as well to kind of balance that out because i think overshield shields like i mean that's insane in my opinion the fact that you can throw a shield down that like regens your shield and gives you extra health like that's crazy to me personally and you can do that every like 17 seconds like that's pretty quick i don't know i i i just i know if they nerf one thing before the other like if they nerf renewal grasp then overshield titan is just gonna dominate because it's not gonna renewal grasp is like honestly one of the only things in the game right now that is actually able to compete with that because it can go into the bubble or i mean that's just stasis super in general but you can like throw a dust field on their shield and slow them and i guess that won't really go away it's just you're not going to have as much damage resistance i guess if if they do what i propose for the nerf uh just to change topics here i had a really good weekend i think or eh, i don't know i had i 
statistically not really, but you know, I played a lot of games. I think this is the most played weekend I've ever had in any trials weekend, so it really drained me. Um, I am definitely gonna try my best to get some rest during this week and next trials week. I'm probably gonna be an eight hour Andy, I'm not gonna lie to you boys. So if you're inspecting me to do like another 48 hour or 24 hour, that's probably not gonna happen till we have like renewal, till we have uh, Reach Regret or a Shia, I really say it, the Scout Rifle. I mean, those are like the only two guns currently in the sandbox that I feel like are worth anything. Everything else is just not really that good. I could be wrong about that, but I know there's just not really, like, once again, you know, the topic of the last video, there's just not really that many, not really that many, like, guns that are just good in anything but, like, PvE. Like, a lot of the guns, and, and some of them aren't even really that great in PvE or PvP. They're just kind of like, eh. The content's just really not there. I think next season we, we will be getting more uh, armor. Hopefully, so hopefully that will kind of bring more people in. I know, I know a lot of people are really interested in Trials Armor, and just just because of, I think the like the sentimental value b behind it, just because it's Trials Armor, even though like I feel like people that have sentimental value by Trials Armor usually don't play Trials too much because it's just I don't know the, the the sentimental value of it just doesn't really mean anything to people that do play Trials a lot. But regardless, it would just be nice to have some new content to bring players in. And to drive the player base up, especially with Flawless Pool and all that. It's just... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed... Well, oh my god, I can't talk. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one, boys. Peace out.